Hey everybody. Um, this is Jill from Daffodils Galleria. And today we're gonna do something really fun, I think, and super, super simple. Um, I got this idea the other day. I'm constantly thinking of different mediums I can use for junk journaling and ephemera and stuff. And these are my prototypes I wanted to show you. Um, and so this is a real glassine bag. Okay, I purchased a bunch of these. And I'm going to show you today how I handmade this sticker from literally this. And so that's what we're going to do. That's easiest number one. Purchase your own bag. Make a sticker. The number two was this one that I just thought I would give a test run to. And I made this faux glassine bag, if you can believe it, out of a cereal bag. This is from a bag of cereal, a box, you know, how inside the box of cereal, you have the bag that holds the cereal. I took that out and carefully pulled it apart. And I thought, you know what? I can use that. So I first, I made this one and I didn't do a very good job on the top, but I thought, okay, I'm going to just sew it, throw it on the sewing machine and I wrinkled it up and I'll show you how I made this one. And this was a test run. I've never actually um, made one of my self-made stickers from just using a magazine page and I wanted to try it and it worked great. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about how this worked, but it ended up being a perfect little pocket. So I thought, how cute is that? And I just happened to have this stamp laying around. So I thought, look at that. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. That's easy number two. And easy number three, what I did was I, I took the um, folding style of the, the one that I purchased and kind of copied it with my cereal bag. And I literally just glued my own bag, made my own sticker, stuck it on. How easy. So those are our three prototypes for the day. And I'm going to show you how I made each of them. So we are going to start with the thing we need the most, which is the sticker. And I have here, I printed these off from the Graphics Fairy. They are one of my favorite sites. I love them. I'm just going to set these aside, put them here. Hopefully I won't lose track of them. But this is just a printable. It's just on regular um, eight and a half by 11 paper. And here's another one that I did a while ago. I put this sticker on the bottle. Isn't that cute? This is an old Tabasco bottle. I mean, not old, but used. <laughs> but I, I make a lot of um, wine bottle tiki torches and that was just something I was working on. I thought maybe I could do that. Yep, it worked out. So anyway, okay, so I printed this with, I have a laser printer and I'm pretty sure it works with inkjet printers as well. Um, but it definitely works with a laser jet. Is it laser? Laser printer, not laser jet. Laser printer, inkjet printer, okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make these stickers and I'm just gonna cut any old one of these out. I'm having a shaky problem today, so just bear with me. I'm not a good cutter and these are really close together. Hang on, I gotta see if you're all in frame there. Yep, you are. Okay, good. Holler if you can't see something. <laughs> And it doesn't have to be perfect because, well, you'll see why. Okay, so here to the left of me, I have this nasty old, this is from yesterday when I was doing this. And I, rather than walk into the bathroom to get a new bowl of warm water, I'm just going to use this old water. It's literally room temperature. 
It really doesn't matter what temperature the water is. Doesn't matter if the water's clean, obviously. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. So we're gonna take a piece of tape. That's probably way too much, but better too much than too little, as I discovered yesterday. And bear in mind that, oh, you know what? It might be easier to see. Hang on, hang on. We're gonna get something here. Yes, this will work. So you can see there can you see that now let me look let me look yeah you can okay so see we this is sticky side up and of course it's sticking to me and everything else i'm getting my fingerprints on it which is okay um i promise the fingerprints won't show up well i can't promise that i'm not positive let me see no they don't okay so very good okay so now i'm going to take this and it doesn't have to be printed in reverse when we do um rub-on transfer type of things that we like when i do that for furniture and stuff they have to be printed in reverse um but this is different it doesn't have to be so we're just going to turn it over and pardon my head if it gets into view put it on there set it down yeah i have way too much tape but that's okay we'll deal with it later um, and now, da, 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 we're going to just put this in the water and let it soak for a few minutes, okay? So, and don't worry about the fact that the tape's getting wet because I promise you it will be okay. I promise. Obviously, right? Let's do another one just because it's fun and we have to have three, right? Because we're going to do three different prototypes. Oh, but one of them has to be from a magazine. So we'll get a magazine here in just a second. Um, let's do, well, let's just do this one. I love all of these. I, I can't remember which printout this is on the Graphics Fairy site. If you do a search for French labels, maybe you could find it that way. Um, so just get over there cutting this out. Mary Jo, what does that say? Flora, probably flower. Madame Bolivier. That's probably the name. And then that's the address. And maybe that's the town. Okay. So, and I love um, Scotch heavy duty tape for this. It's shipping tape. And it's a little bit heavier than regular scotch tape that you might get on this, um, but it will work with any clear packaging tape. I, I have used other tapes in the past. Um, I, it has to be the shipping tape type though, I think. I've never tried it with like tape you use for wrapping presents and stuff. I don't remember what that stuff's called right now, just regular magic tape or whatever it is, you know? I've never tried it with that. Um, it might work with that, but this is my favorite choice. So, okay, we're gonna lay that on there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Doggone it. And see what I did? I stuck it to my thing. I forgot a very important step. Come back out of the water. I happen to have a paper towel here. I forgot a very important step. <laughs> the burnishing part. Um, hopefully this will still work. I've never done that before where I forgot. But you have to burnish this onto there. So hopefully this one will work. If it doesn't, we'll just make another one. I'll be bummed. But I think it's going to work. I actually think I can see. I think I got it out of the, out of the water in time. And I think I can see it transferring onto there. <laughs> It's probably even been on there long enough, but oh, I want the little square that goes around it too. Make sure you burnish everything on the um, printout. And by burnish, I'm just rubbing it. I'm using my, um, and now I forgot that word again. Teflon, Teflon, bone folder. <laughs> Why that word escapes me every time but it does, okay. But you could use anything. You you could use your scissors, you could use, just use something hard. 
to rub the back of it with, okay? I'm gonna just stick that in for another couple seconds. That is the important step. I'm sorry, I forgot that on the first one. So we're gonna do it properly on this one. And burnish, burnish, burnish. I don't know, to me, this is fun. I, it's kind of like, you know, I love doing rub-on transfers too with, um, you can buy them at the Dollar Tree. I think if you, if you watch my other video where I did a Dollar Tree haul, I bought a bunch the other day and guess what? They were only a dollar <laughs> at the Dollar Tree. How cool is that? Okay, did I get everything? Not sure. I'm trying to avoid the labeling, but it doesn't really matter if you hit it with, I just don't want to get stuck to it. Okay, so that one's going in. And put the wa water over here so you can watch me go it in. Go it in. Yeah, that's proper grammar. Huh, Mom? <laughs> My mommy watches these. Hi, Mommy. Um, I pay her too. No, she pays me too. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. So we're going to let those sit for another second. We're going to do another. We're going to get the magazine. Let me find my favorite magazine to pull from. Excuse me while I go down below into the basement department here where I throw all my magazines. Where did I put that magazine? I just had it. I literally just had it out here. Oh, I love a peat. It went somewhere. Okay. Hang on while I find this. 